Known for her warm personality and sense of humor, Sherry Shepard was an actress and stand-up comic for years before landing a coveted spot on ABC's The View. Sherry is on prime time, appearing as a paralegal on NBC's hilarious and highly acclaimed Trial and Error. Sherry, thank you so much for being here at ATV Fest. Thank you for having me. I'm having an amazing time. And I loved your Facebook post. I mean, you can oh. dance, you can <laughs> sing, you can do it all, and you love fashion, which and I do I too. And I love, can I tell you, I took the tour of SCAD when I saw all of the fashions and the shoes and the furs, and it was an explosion of creativity in my mind. I was in heaven. Your show, Trial and Error. You are working with a dream team on that show. So how is it as a professional to entrust yourself to their hands? This is a dream team, starting with John Lithgow, who just won a SAG award uh, for his role in The Crown, playing Winston Churchill. And then we have Nicholas D'Agosto, who's our star. He was on Masters of Sex in Gotham. And Stephen Boyer, who was in The Hand of God on Broadway. Jayma May is from the show Glee. And Krista Rodriguez from the show Smash. And you. You know, I can't even <laughs> believe I'm with them, too. Our director, Jeff Blitz, he won an Emmy for directing The Office. So you have these people around you who are so wonderful. You can't help but learn and absorb everything. All these disorders that you have on the show, uh -huh. so interesting. I mean, it just adds layers to your character. Yes. And one, you faint in the presence of art. Yes, that's called Sendall Syndrome. And it's when you see beautiful artwork, you pass out. And these are very real disorders. I have prosopagnosia, which is facial blindness. I'm dyslexic. I have short-term memory loss. I um, laugh inappropriately at serious situations. But every week they gave me a new disorder that was completely real. If you're doing a sitcom, a multi-camera, you play the funniness of the disorder. Yeah. To do a single camera, you have to play the truth of the disorder. And mm -hmm. then the funny comes from it. If both parties are ready to proceed to the preliminary hearing, the prosecution may present its case. Hold on. I was supposed to be taking notes, but my computer froze. Uh, would anyone happen to have a pen? No? I will just remember everything. Jeff Blitz, he pulled me back quite a bit. And then I had to remember that when you laugh inappropriately at situations, for the person who has that disorder, it's not funny, no. it's embarrassing. It could be devastating to your soul. And so that's the thing. And so when he gave me the note of to pull back, you don't want to laugh, you want to cry. The creative process, is it more improvisation for you or really careful planning? For me, it's careful planning. I'm in awe of John Lithgow because John Lithgow can be in a character be silly, drop it, go get something to eat, come back, but go right back into who he is. This is more new for me. When I'm hanging on to something, I gotta hang on to it. I really have to sit there and get the foundation of who the character is, what are her hopes, what are her dreams, what type of clothes does she like to wear. I like a director to tell me what they're thinking, what their vision is, and I can kind of meld my vision mm -hmm. with what theirs is. Who in comedy has inspired you? Whoopi Goldberg. Watching Whoopi Goldberg when she did her first one-woman show, mm -hmm. she told the story of so many little black girls. And watching her, it planted the seed of, I could do that. And I saw her in the color purple. And to sit at The View, I think there was an episode where Lawrence Fishburne came on, and I broke down crying because I said, I'm sitting there to Lawrence Fishburne and there's Whoopi Goldberg and I couldn't stop crying. Well, what do you find funny? Oh my gosh. I think looking at my 11-year-old son, Jeffrey. He's coming to SCAD. He's coming to SCAD. I already, I already said I'm filling out the application <laughs> for Jeffrey to come here because he's so artistic. I think you have to sit there and, and really count your blessings and that'll make you smile. And Sherry, you give so much joy. Oh, thank you. Thank you, this was great. Oh, this is so awesome. Yeah. Did I lock in for my son to come? Was this like, yeah. could this oh, have absolutely. been the pre-interview? Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Because I'm gonna tell Jeffrey, you starting tomorrow. I don't All care right, if you're 11. Tomorrow.